Hey guys, so one question one. Yes, these are headphones. Sorry, just deal with them. And two, yes, my hair is wet. Again, deal with it. So I promised myself I wasn't going to be making a video about this MTV fuckery that has been going on in the past 12 hours because I ranted and raved so much on Tumblr. And if you haven't looked at that, go down there. It is very super long. And bear in mind you, I, it was like 3 a.m. when I wrote it. So, well, actually, I think it was like 2 a.m. when I began, and then I ended it at like 3 a.m. or almost 4 a.m., I don't remember. But yeah, it's really fucking long if you want to read that, and you can reblog it and like it or, you know, add your own opinion to it. But, okay. So, my opinions on this MTV fuckery, it's just, the one thing that really fucking irks me beyond all else is the fact that people outside Amer outside of America and I think Canada I think Canada's all Can Canadians are allowed to vote right I don't know if that's I think it's only in the U.S. but basically if you live in Europe or any other country besides the USA or Canada I'm going to say Canada because I'm not sure unless you live here you can't vote which is just disrespectful it's it's a lot of people saying it's racist, but I think that's the wrong word. I don't know. It's countryist or like, it's just it's something with an ist at the end of it. I don't think it is kind of racist if you think about it, but it's probably it's. I think it's. it's just, I don't know. It's just fucking rude. I mean, I mean, it's one thing. It's one thing to take away our the fans' right to vote for the nominee who we want to be nominated for these awards. That's one thing. But fucking taking away international fans the right to vote for who they love and the movie they like is fucking disrespectful and fucking rude and wrong on so many levels. That's just a whole nother level of low, MTV. Was that your New Year's resolution? To piss off as many fans as you want? 2012 is that was that it was is 2012 the year MTV fucks us all over because if it was they're doing a, a good job of it and another thing is is was there is was your other new year's resolution to be on a death on like a hundred million fan uh like death death list like death wishes do you have a death wish because pretty I'm pretty sure that's what you have like you wanted to be on a death list like or I'm gonna you know because about a million fans want want you, like, to be dead and gone and just every, everyone hates you. It's not just Twilight fans that fucking hate you. I'm, it's, fu it's fucking Hunger Games fans, international Hunger Games fans, international Twilight fans, international Harry Potter fans, and other the fans of the other films that have been nominated. Like, seriously? And that's fucking wrong. MTV has always proclaimed and stated that this award show was about the fans. MTV is about the fans. This is, we're doing this for the fans. How the fuck is it for the fans if you take away the majority of the, like, take away the right for the other fans internationally to vote? Like, how do you, how is that about the fans if you take away their right to vote? Like, honestly, what the fuck? What the actual fuck? Like, it's, that's just wrong. That's so wrong, and it's just, I'm just, that's just unbelievably disgusting, okay? So, they basically made it so Amer it's up to America and Canada to vote for all these things, and then another, whole nother thing, fucking Twilight only getting two nominations, whereas fucking Hunger Games gets eight, Harry Potter gets fucking six, I believe, I don't know, I don't really know the numbers, I think. I think that's right, though. Um, fucking Bridesmaids gets more than Harry Potter. Are you kidding me? I haven't seen that movie. I'm not going to say it's terrible or not because I haven't seen it, so I don't have an opinion on it. But seriously, my Bridesmaids gets more than ha Twilight. Are you fucking kidding me? And j let me just get back on the Hunger Games thing. Um, first off, I'd just like to say no way do I think Hunger Games um, doesn't deserve these awards because I'm pretty sure they do considering the following they have and... I'm not going to say anything terrible about it because I don't know anything about it. I mean, I have read the book. I fin I read the book like I finished reading the book like last month, I think. And um or maybe earlier this month, I don't remember. Anyway, and I haven't read the book. I haven't I know I've read the book. I haven't seen the film. I don't know anything about Jennifer Lawrence. 
The only thing I know about Josh, H Josh Hutcherson is that he was in a film with Kristen. I don't know anything about anybody else in that film. So, I do believe that they are worthy of being nominated. I'm not saying that. But the thing that I really, really, really can't wrap my head around is the fact that this movie is still in theaters. If you go online right now and check on wherever you get go to the movies, you check online, you will see that The Hunger Games is probably still showing in your theater. It came out last month on, like, the 23rd of March. It's now April. It's barely been a... Well, it's now it's May. It's now May. It's been a month since it's been in theaters. If you check, and now if you go on MTV Movie Awards and you check all the movies that have been nominated, you will find that either none of them, the majority of them are no longer in theaters, the majority of them are now on DVD, okay? Just check. Just go and check right now. Pause this film, this movie, this video right now and go and check. And you will see that I am right. I'm not saying that it is a rule that movies have to be on DVD in order to be nominated. But I think it's an unspoken rule that the majority of these movies are that they have to at least they have to no longer be in theaters in order for them to be nominated or at least considered. OK, it, I think a year has to go by in order for them to be nominated. Um, so, yes, Breaking Dawn was made last year. It's been a fucking year. They can be nominated. Harry Potter. It was made uh, like a year. Yeah, last year again. I think it was made last year, wasn't it? 2010? Two, two years? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything about Harry Potter. So, as I've stated before. Okay, Harry Potter. It's been a year. They can be nominated. Hunger Games. It's been a month and a fucking half. How the fuck is it being nominated? I'm sorry, but that's just wrong. It's just... It's unfair. It really is unfair if you think about it, okay? Besides, I'm not bashing Harry, the Hunger Games, okay? I'm saying this again. I'm not. I just think it's just unfair if you think about it, okay? All these movies that are, have been nominated are on DVD or have been in theaters for a few months, but now they're no longer in theaters. Hunger Games is still in theaters. Honestly, I think the only reason why the Academy even can... The fucking Academy, don't even get me started on that fucking piece of shit. Bullshit. Um, I think the only reason why they are nominated is because it's the new It thing. They have to nominate the new It thing or else they're not going to get any viewers. So by saying, hey, Hunger Games is being is nominated for best movie, best kiss, best actress, best whatever. More people will view it because it's the Hunger Games and everyone loves the fucking Hunger Games. Anyway, sorry. Um, my opinion on the book, because I read the book, I didn't like it too much. I honestly just did not like it. And I'm sorry if you don't, if you hate me now, because I said I hate the fucking Hunger Games. I honestly don't like it. And I don't see myself watching the movie or even getting, becoming a fan of it. Because, uh, in all honesty, it's not my cup of tea. I don't like, I personally have never read a dystopian novel, and that's what this is. It's a, in the future, kind of futuristic book. And I've never read a book like that. That was my first and probably last book dystopian novel that I will ever read because I honestly don't particularly like that genre of books and I was correct in thinking that I wouldn't particularly like it and I didn't like it too much for many reasons mostly Katniss because she freaking annoyed the holy shit out of me I did like Peter though I did like Peter Peter was the what was the bright light in the whole book I like Peter I would honestly if I had to choose I would have had the book from Peter's point of view not Katniss because Peter sounded a lot more interesting to me and a lot more likable than Katniss I'm sorry if you feel differently about me about that but um hey I think it would have been a lot more interesting at least in the fucking arena to have it be from Peter's point of view because Katniss wasn't doing anything she was just in a tree half the time hunting for food and Peter was off with Cologne and Cato and all them people. I would have been a much, I, yeah. Just, you know, opinion. Okay. Yeah, so, and then another thing is the fact that Rob and Kristen got snubbed for Best Actor and Best Actress. I honestly, uh, just, besides their other performances in their other films, just focus on the Twilight aspect of this, okay? Twilight, in the whole of the saga, I think this is one of their best performances Twilight-wise. Twilight-wise. You know, not comparing them to their other films. 
And for them to be snubbed is just disrespectful, not only for them in general, but for us, okay? Because even though, now I know the argument is it's just a stupid popcorn trophy, they probably don't give two shits, you know? And I agree, it is just a stupid popcorn trophy. But by giving them, by, the fans are giving them this award. The fans, not some fucking academy, the fans. It's our way of saying we loved you in this film. You, we thought, you did fucking amazing and we love you. We support you through everything you did. You made us, cr you made us laugh, cry, breath, like, smile, feel our giddy inside and you just made us happy on our way home and we, you know, and this is our way of saying thank you for putting your heart and soul into this character because they have this is what they put their heart and soul into every single character they set their their they act to and they set their minds to telling they put their heart and soul into every story they bring to life and by not by taking away that honor of giving us let giving them this award is just disgusting and I actually saw this one bitch, this one girl, who honestly said that Rob and Kristen could probably care less about these award shows. They could probably care less. I'm sorry, but who are you to say they don't fucking care? Like, who the fuck are you? Do you know them personally? No? Okay, If you, unless you know them personally, then how the fuck would you know? Because I honestly don't think, I honestly think they care. I think, but don't tell them, don't say they don't care when you honestly don't know yourself. If anything, the reason they do this is for the fans. They've done, everything they do is for us, for the fans, to make us happy. Because they know how much we love them and how much we love this story. They love it just as much as we do. So they're going to, so they're going to do whatever it takes to give that back to us. By go, showing up at these events and doing things for us and, you know, shining stuff for us and taking pictures for us. They're, they're giving back what we gave them. Love and support. If it wasn't for us, they would not be there. And they know that. And they are grateful for that. Okay, so don't, don't call it one. Don't call yourself a fucking fan if you think that way. Okay, just don't. And don't say what you think they think. Because that's probably wrong. You don't, unless you know them personally, you don't fucking know. Okay? And it's just, very few of us, including me, have ever gone to see Rob and Kristen in real life. And this award, or just any award in general, me voting for them is like a way of me saying I love you and you're amazing and I want to hug you so badly, but here's an award and hopefully this makes up for it. It's just, a, it's basically just the millions of fans who haven't gone to meet them, it's us saying we love you and here you go. This is, this you deserve this. And MTV took that away from us and that's fucking bullshit. And... Honestly, I'm gonna MT, I you guys know this MTV has always been my favorite award show MTV movie awards was my favorite thing of the year I that's the only award show I watch without cringing or laughing or just that's basically the only thing I watch Because it was the best of the year. It's the most it's the thing that I got most excited for every year But now they've completely fucked themselves over and honestly, I don't know I'm probably not even gonna watch it. I'm probably gonna do what I do with every other award show I'm just gonna wait for it to go on in the acceptance speech to go on YouTube and watch it there I mean, I might watch the live stream to see if anybody shows up But I have a feeling that Robin and Kristen are just gonna show up get the award They get the awards that they've been nominated for and then leave if they show up at all because, I mean, two awards is very barely a reason to show up only if you only get nominated for two things. But I can tell you right now, MTV, or just right now, you have lost a fucking viewer. Because there is no fucking way I'm going to be watching this shit. This is fucking bullshit. Fucking bullshit. So, okay. I'm sorry if this was a little jumbled. Please, again, read my rants in the boxer drawer below. It's a lot more... Um, organized if you even though it was written at like 3 a.m. in the morning so please read that also vote if you can for the MTV movie Awards. the link will be down there below and check out my other links and please tell me in the comments what you thought think of this uh, you can comment below or you can video response it because I love watching you guys' videos and seeing your guys' lovely faces because I love you all so much Mwah. love you guys so please Tell me what you thought in the comments below, and check out the box of drawer as well, and I'll see you guys next time, hopefully for a non-rant video. Hopefully. Okay, so, mwah!